Let's take a moment to talk about submergent versus emergent coastlines. So if we think about what the word means, submerge, so we kind of think about that like lowering down. Um, so that would be like the coastline dropping. Emergent, to emerge from something, right? To rise up, so the coastline would rise up from that. Now we can accomplish that two different ways. The first way is we can play with sea level. The second way is we can play with land level. Okay, so let's take sea level. If we were to raise it up, then that would start to drown our coastline, and so we'd be submerging it. So this can happen, submergent coastline could be from a rise in sea level. Conversely, if we were to lower sea level, it would appear as if the land was emerging out of that. So our emergent coastline is a result of dropping our sea level. All right, so that's sea level. Now let's play with land. The other way to accomplish this is for a submergent coastline is to actually just drop that land level so it would look like the sea level is rising. And then conversely, if we look at an emergent coastline, what we can do is we can just um, raise that land level up. So that part's pretty simple. Um, we can think about what's going to cause this. So obviously a rise and fall in sea level mostly has to do with how much water is stored as ice um, in our ice caps. And so the more that places like Antarctica and um, Greenland melt, more of that water goes into the ocean and we get a rise in sea level and we start to have submergent coastlines. If climate were to um, reverse and we were to have it get really cold in a glacial, a lot of that water would get sucked up out of the ocean and it would get stored in those polar ice caps. And so um, that would be a drop in sea level and so we'd have emergent coastlines. Um, when it comes to messing with land, tectonics can do that. So if you have compression and land is getting lifted up, so we have a rise in land level, you can have an emergent coastline, or even as polar ice caps melt, we have this thing where the crust actually bounces back out um, of our asthenosphere. And so when that happens, the land level is gonna rise back up because of all the weight of the ice has been removed. And so again, that would be raising land level and you can have an emergent coastline from that. Um, so there's different ways to mess with sea level and mess with land levels. Um, and it even has to do with a, a balance. So you could have rising sea level, but if you have higher rise in land level than sea level, then you can actually um, have an emergent coastline even with rising sea levels. So it all has to do with the balance between what sea level is doing and what land level is doing.